Welcome to all you need to know before imaging this or that. In this quick video, we're going to show you some tips and tricks for how to get the best possible image for this target. Let's, Let's go. go. You're going to find N52 in the constellation Cassiopeia. It is um, about 5,000 light years away, so pretty close to Earth, I mean, in a way. It sounds pretty far. Yeah. <laughs> and it was discovered by the man himself, Charles Messier, in 1774. It's not too far from other deep sky objects, like for example the Lobster Cloud Nebula, which is a great, beautiful, large nebula, as well as the Cave Nebula, the cluster Caroline's Rose, but of course, um, the Bubble Nebula, which is right there. So, M52 doesn't have a crazy cool fun nickname, and it also doesn't have a crazy cool shape. But nonetheless, it is still a beautiful cluster. It has a magnitude of 5.0, which makes it pretty bright. It is also a somewhat large size, so you can capture it with a telescope of any focal length. Sadly, the Hubble Space Telescope never captured M52. We don't really have a, a juicy image to show you here, but we did capture it with our amateur equipment, so we can show you ours. Um, so here is our picture of M52, and if you zoom out, you can see obviously the bubble nebula, which is huge and full of nebulosity and gas. So obviously you can frame both the cluster and the bubble nebula. Well, unless you don't think ahead and don't double check your test shot, this is our first ever image of the bubble nebula with our 8-inch Newtonian. As you can see, the nebula is well-centered, but the cluster is not even in the frame. So it could have been there if we really thought about it sooner. What a shame. <laughs> That's why you always plan your shots. Yes. And you can capture M52 slash the bubble nebula and all that, this whole region, with both a, you know, a stock DSLR camera or a cooled astronomy camera. Those gases are bright enough to be seen through any uh, sensor. So in our case, we did it in SHO, which is in narrowband. So if, um, of course it helped to get the HA and O3. There is also some sulfur in there, which is not very, very prominent, but there is, there is some. So, you know, SHO is usually a good palette for this object, I mean, the bubble nebula at least. And as a starting point, we suggest doing maybe five to 10 minute exposures for each frame, um, because you need you know, long enough exposures to really bring out those gases all over the cluster and all around. So we imaged this target again from our backyard in 2021. This time we made sure that we included the cluster in there. And we were also able to include the beautiful lobster claw nebula. What? We love this image because having several deep sky objects close together like this gives space an incredible sense of scale. And we spent 28 hours on this specific image from home. We suggest you do at least four hours uh, at the minimum for this target, uh, especially if you are from the city, but in our case here, we, did, we spent 28 hours, which gave us this result. So we made a full video about it. If you want to check it out, I think it's very interesting. And uh, yeah, that's it. So we hope that this information will help you capture M52 slash the bubble and Lobster Cloud Nebulae very soon. We hope this video helped you get to know this target just a little bit better and helped to prepare you to image it. We would love to see your image. So go on our website and find this object on our gallery and attach your image to the comment section. We would love to see it. And by the way, online, we have a bunch more tips for so many, so many objects. So go on there and check it out. So we'll catch you guys next time in clear skies. Clear skies. skies.